Hey everyone, CPO here, and in this video, I'm gonna be presenting something to you that's not necessarily Jeep related, but it is. It caters to outdoorsman types, and I think you should have one of these in a Jeep anyway. I think you should have one by your bed at night. I think you should have one in the kitchen for when the power goes out. I'm talking about a flashlight. So yeah, Olight reached out to me and asked me if I would be willing to help get the word out about a new limited edition Warrior X Pro Light. This is in the Desert Sunset color scheme. In fact, there is a flash sale that's about to hit where this is going to drop in price for a limited period of time starting tonight. So I'm trying to get this video out to you in time so that you can uh, make a decision on whether or not you want to jump in on the flash sale. Flashlights are super important. Um, I carry one pretty much a lot of the time. I always have one in the vehicle, either in a glove box or in a door panel. I always keep one by the bed. Like I said, I always keep one in the kitchen because uh, when the power goes out, like you need access to lights. Um, but uh, there's a lot of reasons why off-roading, even in the daytime, having a light is super important. So this turns out to be a really good light. And I'm not just saying that because Olight sent it to me. I've been a light consumer on the professional side for quite a while. Um, former law enforcement guy like lights uh, were a part of the job. Two is one, one is none is sort of been something that's resonated with me ever since then. And so having more than one light is also something I usually subscribe to. One of the challenges with flashlights also is making sure that they're charged and ready to go or have fresh batteries. Um, so that's another thing about this light that is particularly cool. And, uh, and I'll get into the details with you uh, here in a second. Uh, but anyway, this is from Olight. This is the Warrior X Pro. Uh, by the way, I will have um, some links down in the description with a discount code. It is an affiliate link. Olight set me up with an affiliate account. If you choose to use my link, it just helps me out a little bit, saves you some money if you use the code. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's just a good opportunity to get the word out about a product, which I'm a super fan of. So uh, Olight's been around for quite a while. They're well known uh, in the firearms industry. Um, I've used their weapon lights before. This also can be used as a weapon light. Uh, it can have a remote uh, pressure switch and a Picatinny rail adapter. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. And you'll see why uh, this would make sense in that application as well. Um, but I've been a longtime user of a variety of professional grade flashlights from Streamlight and Maglite and you know you name them all of them uh, and Olight is uh, is is one of the big boys like uh, their lights are top notch and I'm really happy uh, with what they've done particularly with these new ones uh, the technology's changed a lot since I was using them professionally um, so anyway uh, let's go through this real quick it is a all metal design it is IPX8 uh, waterproof so uh, it can stand some submersion in water which is useful. It has 2,100 lumens. That's a crazy amount of light with a 500 meter throw. It can stand a drop of three meters, drop tested. And uh, yeah, it is sturdy and um, serious piece of kit. So this is how it comes out of the box. It's been milled for a lot of grip and I like that. It comes with a clip. And with this grip ring, uh, which is useful for activating the light, you also get a silicone grip ring, a tactical grip ring. I hate using the word tactical because I think that's been overplayed uh, in the last 10 or 15 years, but that's what they call it, a tactical grip ring. I'm also wearing my tactical Mickey Mouse hat because it's black. Um, oh, and uh, charging. This is really cool. This is one of the coolest things I think about the new lights, the modern lights, and in particular this one is uh, magnetic charging. Um, so if you've ever, like I said, used the light, uh, extensively, keeping it charged is pretty important. And, uh, the easier it is to charge, the more likely you're able to do that. So, um, this is kind of nice and it's USB. So, uh, two amp charging. So if you plug this into something that can't give two amps, obviously you're going to get less charging power, but if you plug it into something like a power brick or something like that, that can charge, uh, at least two amps, then, uh, this charges actually pretty quickly. It's got a little light on top that will show you 
um, if it's uh, charged or not. It'll turn red if it's charging, and it'll be green if it's got at least 95% charge. So when I stick it on, uh, and, and it really is still at least 95% of the charge, it'll just stay green, and that's fine with me. I know it's at least charged. Speaking of charge, one other cool thing about this is it has a vibrating charge indicator. Uh, and that's super cool because usually you find out that your battery is dead when the light goes out or goes really dim in most cases. Uh, with this though, you get an indicator that you're at about 30% of your battery capacity and it will vibrate once every five minutes to let you know, hey, you're getting down there, you might wanna think about putting this on a charge. And that's super helpful for people that use the light a lot, but don't necessarily charge it constantly in between uses. When your battery power is down to below 5%-ish, uh, it'll start vibrating every 10 seconds just to say, hey, dude, you're running out of time. So uh, that's uh, pretty useful. So speaking of time, the run times on this are pretty intense. It will run at 2100 lumens. That's the highest level it will go for about two minutes-ish. And then it will scale down gently to 1000 lumens, which is about half level, 48% uh, of the total output. Uh, and it'll run there for about 100 minutes. And after that, it will drop down to 300 lumens and it will run there for about another 23 minutes. So that's if you leave the thing on from a full charge, you put it on full power and just leave it on. It'll sort of scale down uh, to number one, control heat because this thing gets really hot at full power. 2100 lumens puts out a lot of light and a lot of heat. You can really feel it. Although this does a good job at dissipating heat, um, but it, it can't handle running that hot, that bright for that long. So you get a couple minutes like that and then it scales down uh, and it's a subtle scale down. It's like al almost, um, unless you really, really need that much light, you really don't even notice because even a thousand lumens is pretty darn bright. And then we'll continue to run like that for a while. And then as the battery continues to drain, uh, it will scale down. So when you see it go down, if you're just leaving it lit, um, and you're not holding it, let's say you've got it, uh, you know, set up on a table or something, uh, and you leave it lit just constantly, when it drops down to the low level, 300 lumens, you know you've got, you know, 20, 23 minutes left uh, before the battery's gonna die. Now, you do have the ability to uh, half press this and put it to 300 lumens to start with. And if you do that, you can get eight hours of runtime. And 300 lumens is actually quite a lot. So most of you for everyday tasks may not even need to go above 300 lumens, but it's there if you need it. And uh, yeah, and this thing can put out some light. So uh, I did some, you know, crazy nighttime in the yard sort of uh, light testing for you, just so you can see. One thing I do like, it has a really uh, nice bright center spot uh, and then it floods out nicely. So uh, it's it's a good light pattern. It's a good mixed light pattern. It doesn't have an adjustable light pattern, but because you get the spot flood combo, uh, it does work out really well. And uh, that spot is super bright. So mostly you can do indirect lighting uh, at the high, li uh, high light levels and it will work out really well. It does come with a little wrist strap, which I kind of like. It's um, adjustable. So you can tighten it onto your wrist or hang it on something. Uh, the thing is, it's designed to go into this hole on the metal tactical uh, grip ring. There we go, just like that. Couple things, when you have the, the, the metal tactical grip ring that comes on it, you've got the clip and you've got the lanyard. And you need this metal tactical grip ring for the clip and the lanyard to work. I'm, you could probably find another way to rig a lanyard on here, but at any, any rate, if you pull off the tail cap, by the way, pro tip, if you, um, like, if you undo the, the tail cap just a little bit, it will sort of disable the light so it doesn't accidentally press. Um, so if you're transporting it or you have it stored in a glove box or something like that, you can do that. And then when you use it, you just, tighten it and then uh, and then you're good to go. It does have some raised edges on the back though to prevent it from accidentally engaging. So you could set it upside down on a table and it won't, uh, it won't turn on the light. But you just remove the tail cap. They say in the manual to remove the O-ring as well, but I, the O-ring doesn't seem to get in the way. I just leave it on there. And then you pop off the clip 
And then you can put on the silicone uh, tactical grip ring, put your tail cap back on, and then you've got that. So it's a more comfortable uh, feel if you're using it long term. Uh, a couple other things is it will roll with the uh, this tail cap on. It will not roll very well or for very long with the other tail cap. Now, uh, I come from the days when we trained in law enforcement uh, that if you needed to light up a room and you didn't want to be in it, you could roll a flashlight across. Uh, don't know if you do that or not or if you even care about that, but this one will roll very easy. Uh, and then uh, with this other tail cap, uh, it will roll, but it will, it'll, Actually, it doesn't really roll. It sort of just bounces across. It's uh, it's like rolling a square, which is what this essentially is. So for me, probably my most uh, common use will be with the uh, the factory grip ring, uh, so that I can have. I don't really care about the clip so much, um, but I do like having the lanyard, and I do like it that it doesn't roll. I could set it on a table, and it's not going to roll off on me. Uh, which is kind of nice. So uh, the clip uh, will just sort of click into here. There's a little tab for it to go into, and there's a specific cutout on this uh, grip ring that will align with that. It sort of clocks it into place. And once you get everything together, you can just screw the uh, cap on and then you're good to go. But like I said, I'll probably leave it like this primarily. So I have this lanyard. Uh, I don't use it for work um, anymore, so it's kind of nice just to be able to hang it and maybe not, uh, not necessarily worry about losing it. And then uh, I don't know if I'll use the clip very much, but it doesn't get in the way. I don't even notice it, so I don't think that's a big deal. Now, the battery that comes with this thing is a special battery just for this light. Uh, it is a 5,000 milliamp, uh, 3.6 volt. It's a monster battery. Uh, so it is designed specifically for this flashlight and you can't really interchange it. So uh, just keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, because it's chargeable, you never really have to take it out because you can charge it right off the uh, tail cap. Another thing this Warrior X Pro comes with is a uh, case, which is a pretty nice case actually. I like it has a magnetic closure, so it's easy to open and close. Um, and it has a nice hole in the bottom so that when you uh, accidentally put your light away with it running, uh, you won't melt everything. And I will say, if you use a light professionally and you've never put it away with it still turned on, you haven't been on the job long enough. Uh, that's a thing that will happen to you eventually. And so what this does is it allows all of that heat to escape. If you put a light of this power into an enclosed case uh, with no safety hole like that, Literally, it, it will get hot enough and it will melt or catch on fire. So uh, that's why that holds there. It does have some other features. Um, it's got a, a variety of ways to connect. It's got a Velcro um, uh, closure plus a snap so you can close around something and then Velcro around it, uh, like Molly webbing, things like that. It's got a regular belt loop type deal. It's got a ring here. Uh, so lots of options for you. Uh, would hook to Molly gear really well. As a matter of fact, my uh, rear tailgate um, uh, Molly uh, uh, gear holder uh, from Justice Off-Road would be a perfect uh, fit for this. And again, I don't know how long they're going to have this limited edition color, uh, but it's kind of cool. It's got the desert tan with the black and a really nice fade. So starting today, uh, what is this? The, the 15th, April 15th, 2021, at 8 p.m. Eastern time, this thing is gonna go on sale. And it's only gonna be on sale until midnight the following day, the 16th. So you've got basically a day and a half to take advantage of this sale. So it's gonna be 20% off. The MSRP on this is 130, 129.95. And um, it's gonna go on sale for 20% off, 103.96, $103.96 uh, for this flash sale. Now, I do have a coupon code. That it will not work on the flash sale, just FYI. Um, it will get you 10% off uh, any purchases. You can purchase during the sale. You can buy accessories to go along with this, but anything that's on that sale price, uh, the coupon code doesn't work for. So if you miss the flash sale, instead of getting 20% off, use my discount code, at least get 10% off. And again, use it on accessories if you buy anything like pressure switches or weapon mounts or anything like that. Now, they do have some bundle sets. As a matter of fact, I have another flashlight here 
they also sent me. This is the i5T in a Stardust color, and it's just a little AA flashlight. It's super convenient to have a AA light. This is what I would like EDC like in a pocket because I don't need to carry a big flashlight. It does have a double clip. I guess if you were clipping it sideways into something, uh, you could choose which direction. Uh, but in a pocket, I just use it the standard way with the light down and the and the tail cap up. Uh, but it's got uh, two power levels also, actually. It's got a 300 lumen uh, output as well as a 15 lumen output. Same thing, it, it will sort of scale down. If you just turn it on on a full battery, you'll get a few minutes, like three minutes at 300 lumens, and then it will scale down to about 150 lumens for a short time, and then it will drop down to 15 lumens. And uh, if you just run it on low, you'll get about 20 some odd hours out of it. So yeah, I mean, and it's a double A battery, so you just replace it whenever you're done. Or you can put in a rechargeable, like a, uh, a nickel cadmium rechargeable battery. It will accept those as well. Um, but to change the power level on this, basically you turn it on, it defaults to the low level. If you press it again, within two seconds and turn it on, you can see it brightens up and is actually at 300 lumens, which is the low end on this guy. So you've, you've got a good range here. You've got 2,100 lumens, down to 1,000 lumens, down to 300 lumens. This is 300 lumens, down to 150 lumens, and then down to 15 lumens. So uh, you've got a pretty broad spectrum of throw uh, between these two lights. Uh, but yeah, you just, Turn it on, turn it off, turn it on again, and it brightens up. And then if you do that again, it will dim again. So if you leave it alone um, for a few seconds, it will always default to the low level. So it's a great little light uh, looking around for things. You drop your keys in the grass or whatever, uh, but you can just turn it on and turn it, uh, turn it off and turn it back on, and it will brighten up to 300 lumens, which is actually pretty bright for a, a light this size. Anyway, they have a bundle sale going on right now uh, between the two, and that one is, let's see, what is that? Uh, $114 for both. Um, that's a pretty good deal. Um, so they have some other stuff. I'll put some info in the description of this video on YouTube. Uh, they've got some other packages and, uh, and some free tiers. So if you spend more than a certain amount of money, you get s some free stuff thrown in. So um, as a matter of fact, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put it in the description. But that's really it. I just wanted to share these lights with you. Um, again, not necessarily Jeep product, but certainly Jeep related. And you guys in the Jeeping community and the off-road community should certainly appreciate lighting. Uh, if you've ever been caught without a light when you need one, you realize how important they are. And I know lately uh, we've been sort of spoiled because we have lights on our cell phones and uh, I'm guilty of it too. If I need a quick light, I will just turn on this light. Um, but it's not ideal in a lot of situations besides uh, a light is one of those things. I just kind of want a unitasker. It does its job. It does it really well. I'll use this in a pinch, but I'd rather have a real light. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Go hit the flash sale. Oh, it's Olight. Well, psh, I'll put a link in the description because remember, I have a affiliate code. If you use that code, I don't know, it saves you money, save, gives me money. I don't know exactly how it works, but they offered. I accepted. I appreciate you guys like showing you cool stuff. So uh, and I like cool products. And I think Olight's a good company with great products. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.